The MES 100 VF is one of the most popular microbial air samplers. It is used for viable air monitoring in clean rooms and other controlled environments. In this clip, I will present you all the features and capabilities of this powerful product. Hi, my name is Andy and I will present you the MES 100 VF. The MES 100 VF is a portable, impaction-based, viable air sampler. I will lead you from unboxing to usage, options and service. For your convenience, you will find the times for each chapter in the notes to this clip. The MES 100 VF is delivered in this compact box. Inside is a sturdy transportation case. It is ideal for sending your air sample to a calibration center. Now, let's see what's delivered with the MES 100 VF. First, we have our main product. The VF in a protective custom cutout foam. A perforated lid and a dust cover are already fitted. Then, we have the power supply, including adapters for different outlets. The USB cable is needed for charging the instrument and also for configuration and data transfer. This memory stick is very important. It contains all safety information, manuals and declaration of conformity. This Allen key is used to adjust the Petri dish holder to the specific size of your plate. Here, in the lid of the case, you will find the calibration certificate of your air sampler and the certificate of the digital anemometer that was used for calibration. Now, let me lead you through the instrument. The housing is made from anodized aluminium and is very robust. It has a backlit LCD display on the front. The screen and the touch buttons are completely flat and easy to clean. On top is the perforated lid, also made from alu. The lid is held in place with a bayonet coupling and is opened with a 120 degree turn. The standard lid has a blue sieve with 300 holes of a diameter of 0.6 mm. The lid seals against the air sampler with this o-ring. Under the lid is the easy clean plate holder where the agar plate is held in place with these three clamps. The air that is aspirated through the perforated lid is exhausted through this grid. The flow direction of the air inlet and outlet is the same. This prevents disturbing the unidirectional airflow in a clean room. Ergonomic handling of an air sampler is critical, especially when being gowned up and with multiple gloves fitted. Even with small and large gloved hands, the handle on the back is easy to use. On the bottom of the instrument, we have fitted a tripod adapter. Together with the optional tripod, samples can be taken at every required location. Here on the back are two plugs, one for charging and one for data exchange. Both functions are performed with the USB cable that is part of the package. Ease of use in daily routine is guiding our product development. All functions required for daily operation are accessed through the keypad. Some of them can be blocked to prevent errors. You will start up the sampler by touching the start button for two seconds. Then it will show VF and thereafter the battery charging status and the remaining time of calibration validity. The home screen shows the time. Touching the clock icon reveals the date for three seconds and then automatically falls back to the time. Now, how to start the sampling? Nothing simpler than that. Touch the start button once and the last used sampling volume is displayed. Choose another default volume by tapping the left or right button. If only one volume is enabled, this option is not available. To confirm the volume and start the sampling, tap the start button. If a sampling delay was set, like in our case here, the clock is counting down and the start button flashes blue. Pro tip, the delay and the start can be aborted by pressing the left button. Once the measurement starts, the start button flashes green and the bar in the display shows the sampling progress. Measurement finished. The LED is green and the sample volume is displayed. Job done! For more practical tips on how to configure and use the VF, please check out our quick tips on YouTube. Now that you know how easy it is to operate the air sampler, let me lead you briefly through the sampling process. Before starting a sampling, you need suitable nutrient plates. Remove the perforated lid. Grab it from the side so that your hand is never above the sampling holes. In reality, 
you would of course wear gloves and other protective garment. Take the lid plate, insert it into the sampling head and remove the lid. Once the plate is secured, replace the perforated lid and seal it tightly. Now you're ready to take a sample. After sampling, remove the lid and plate the same way. The plate will now be incubated. Let me give you a few tips on how to handle the MES 100 VF. First, let's talk about the perforated lid. The perforated lid is crucial for a successful sampling. That is why we take great care to manufacture it precisely. It is made from anodized aluminium and very robust. Still, take care and do not drop it or it may bend which leads to sampling errors. For sampling, it must be clean and disinfected or there may be false positive results. You can sterilize it by autoclaving. You can disinfect it with ethanol, isopropanol, hydrogen peroxide and parasitic acid. You cannot use chlorinated disinfectants such as bleach. That's it for now. Don't miss the second part of the video. See you there.